let's talk about this briefly yep yeah, because i was there just the other day so um obviously over the weekend i went to labyrinth events um labyrinth sorry events night at toff manor or day festival not night day festival at toff manor starring arm dixon back to back jimmy jules um jennifer cardini dj holographic um who else was there I forgot, but yeah, whatever. Loads of really great people playing there. Um, all day festival starts at what midday, goes on to about half ten, in the middle of Bedfordshire, just outside of London. Maybe like two uh, two hours, an hour and a half outside London. It took us about two hours to get there, but a story for another day. And um, a fairly immersive, secluded, um, really great and really well produced, put together event that, if anything, maybe showcased how versatile and um um yeah yeah, so yeah it showcases how versatile labyrinth are in terms of a promotional outfit right because we've been to a few of their events we've gone to an event in mixed garage that was tricks playing we went to the gerd jansen event at love studios and we also went to the todd church at love studios too so we've seen them putting an event on in mixed garage right which is a really cool trendy little warehouse um storage space where they put beers and stuff and that's now been kind of taken over by another club called the color factory but we saw them putting an event on in a very kind of um bare bones warehouse space in hackney wick we saw them put on a very cool sort of a little bit more fancy event in love studios in northwest london and then we then saw them do a real festival -y kind of event one day of course in the middle of bedfordshire on a site that hosts like a, an amazing um regal sort of mansion home thing right so we saw them do all these three different events and each one has been really well produced really well put together um again great organization everything that you could need from loose to toilet security guards welfare attendants um drinks dr um food kiosks there's about four there pizza ice cream van there was a great little chill out bar towards the back where the main stage was where you could just basically chill in this little circle weird little shape thing right and i guess like a labyrinthy type thing um and then there was but there was there's was like a tree with logs underneath that you could chill under too which i'd imagine would be amazing if you're tripping off lsd or something like again really well produced they had coaches picking up people from various stations around london to go directly to the venue or you could take transport there yourself they were sending us emails annoying ones don't get me wrong every single day telling us exactly where it needs to be which again you know they kind of over they in and over inundated us with information but still very very well done very well produced if anything i'd say it's a tad on underwhelming just for myself because i, I felt like at the, the space it was i felt like they could have gone a little bit more harder in terms of how they um tried <clears throat> They could a lot, a lot more harder in terms of the sound specifically, especially on the main stage and more so on the other stage to the right. Um, the sound was terribly low. Um, it could have been a lot more immersive, especially for the space, or especially for the area that they were in. There's no point of going that far outside of London if you're just going to have it sound and kind of feel like any other festival in Victoria Park. Now, again, it was very well done. Don't get me wrong, but it still didn't really blow you away as much as it probably should have. And again, it's hard to do, but I get what I mean. But the stage was very well done i thought everything around it was cool but it just could have been a little bit more i think it was just they just played a bit too safe maybe because of the first one i'm not too sure but still i think it was a bit too safe no so what is the first one i guess on that site i don't know if it was the first one ever but i think it's the first one maybe on that site i think they played it maybe a bit too safe that way overall and um yeah that's that was my and again my biggest grab again the journey i think they definitely overstated how short the journey would be um it was definitely much longer um it took us about two hours to get there um then the, the day kind of started off a bit rough because we had a very annoying person sitting next to us on the coach who was quite possibly one of the worst persons to have ever kind of graced the same day festival and you really have to question people's sanity for going to such event if you have such a stinky attitude you know this person arrived on the bus first of all sat at the back where you know most of the troublemakers are going to sit right let's just say that and then decided to kind of put their bag on the chair seat so no one else could sit on it 
And of course, the bus filled up very quickly. Again, at the time we were on the bus, no one was on it, fair. By the time we got on it, it turned into a party bus very quickly. So if you were somebody that was going to a day festival like that on your own, you would probably want to just sit next to the front so you could just kind of avoid all the nonsense, right? So you could just limit all the, uh, you know, unnecessary talking, people, you know, trying to walk to, to, to the toilets and leaning on you and all that stuff. You just want to avoid it. Number one, anyway, I wouldn't go to a festival like that on my own on a bus, bus that's taken me from London to the venue. I'd probably want to make my own way there, especially if i was going there sober i wouldn't want to be around drunk people at all but yeah that's a story for another day this person gets on a bus puts their coach their, their the coach sorry puts their chair or their bag on the chair people start filling in and then you'd imagine at that point you'd want to swap and go to the front they don't they just sit there and then when people are trying to sit down that seat rudely say no which i've never seen before in my entire life on the coach like no you just put your bag at the top because there's space there doesn't want to move the bag cool then we get to the venue and they get off the bat, they get off the venue, they get off the bus, you know, angry, like, you know, stone faced, walked, walk right in front of us and obviously make it known that I'm here with the event organizers and trying to get into the back area, just you know, a complete wanker. And then by the time we got our raving and we're on the next to the main stage, guess who we see out on the stage taking pictures and shit? This person, do you know what I mean? Just a t terrible, and I think that may have put me off the off my kind of game in general. I'm not really sure, cause I was just kind of I was bewildered. I was like, why would someone like that come to an event like this? Like, why would you bring such a horrible attitude to such a great and joyous event? It just doesn't make any sense. But I guess you know, everyone's got their thing. And maybe I kind of set the tempo a bit off. Then <laughs> maybe I kind of set things off on a bad foot anyway, because when that person did kind of arrive at the coach and asked about you know going to the store before the coach leaves, I did make an innocuous joke about yeah, get me something too or something, and it didn't land well. Let's just say, so you know this, this person doesn't necessarily respond that well to humor from strangers, which is fine because no one should be responding to anyone from strangers. If you don't know somebody, you don't need to give them a response. Bloody blah, blah blah blah, all that safe stuff. But still, that might have just set things off weirdly. But regardless of that horrible and you know nonsense person um the rest of the crowd was pretty awesome I've got to be honest maybe one of the best raving crowds i've seen in a long time and definitely gave me um uh good vibes and an appreciation for the kind of uniqueness of london club now because i think sometimes if you go to places that fold and cause often like i do or like i did prior to the pandemic you can be forgiven to think everywhere in london is the same which is not especially crowd wise not everyone's decked out in all black wearing double decker flipping dr martins some people i don't know are wearing a white shirt some people are wearing funky shirts as they would prefer of those oh those funky shirts honestly whoever's whoever's still wearing these that outfit that people wear in festivals where you wear jean shorts or some sort of really tight short white socks you know some sort of scuffy shoes and a really loud shirt like a hawaiian shirt any kind of shirt with a print on it please stop enough's enough like that and also the girl version of the outfit is basically those yoga flare pants things that girls are wearing right that make your bum look amazing of course i understand why girls want to wear it because even if you got a flat ass it makes you look like you don't have one it looks like it makes you look like you got a bit of a bounce in there i get the need to wear it but everyone has those flipping pants on it's just annoying right so just all of that but still it was nice to see color it was nice to see again apart from i think when we went me and my friend went it was just only us probably wearing all black everyone else was wearing color so that was great to see and the ages too that was nice different ages like it went from i would say 18 to maybe 67 right the guy that was dancing with at the bit, uh, for a bit at the, at the front of the stage that was refreshing and just the sounds in general right the the, the kind of audio tapestry that um innovations crew are able to weave it's just nice it's just unique um you get like a real sort of um blend of genres everything from deep house to house to melodic house um to tech house to kind of more electro -y type stuff um there's a tinge of maybe electronic body music like all these really cool sounds that kind of don't go together but do go together disco that feel amazing when they put on the night so it's a far more in my opinion interesting um kind of listening experience to go to than your standard techno party which i obviously still like but i like the kind of going to a festival where literally every dj has their own unique sound right in terms of what they're able to kind of bring to the table so that was brilliant um so overall a decent event um i'll play a couple of clips from um to dixon instagram page that basically captures most of the event and what was going on um let me see if i can get it up here buh, 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 buh. let's move on where is it is it working yet okay, let's go here there let's play some videos actually from the event it's courtesy of arm to dixon page oh, 
I think two things were playing at the same time there. Let me just start that one again. Let's start that one again. I think two things were playing at the same time, right? I'm pretty sure. Do, 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 do. Let's go again. This needs to come out ASAP, by the way. in it you get the vibe <sighs> anyway great 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 again great event big up labyrinth for putting it on uh big up everyone i saw there in attendance um everyone that we bumped into new friends and old friends i think that's one of the greatest things about the little innovations community that exists on social media with innovations lovers on the facebook page and obviously this arm to dixon page here on instagram there's a real great um community that surrounds it everyone seems really cool and blessed we bumped into a couple of people that we've seen at previous events and hopefully some more we'll see in others um next event i think is tricks coming up in october 22nd or something around those kind of mark so if um if people are going to be at that then make sure you say hi holler at the kid but yeah big up everyone we bumped into everyone we saw great event or overall again a tad underwhelming for me just in terms of where it was and what it could have been but maybe we're going to see better brighter things from them and maybe pushing the envelope a little bit more from labyrinth maybe going forward but yeah enjoyed it enjoyed it very very much